today I'm going to be removing this uh, second valve cover on the driver's side. I need to remove this EGR system first, or that copper colored pipe. The way I'm going to access this second bolt, or this one right here underneath, you have this bolt, you have this one. I'm going to actually go through the tire well and access it that way with a wrench and uh, try to pull it out. Once I have that done, I'm going to use my uh, on my sockets and allen keys and whatever else I can to get this thing off of there. There's quite a bit of um, like RTV or something like that down there. I don't know if they did that on purpose to, you know, if there's something actually wrong with the valve cover itself. I don't know. We're about to find out, unfortunately. And then after that, I promise you, I will get these dang belts off. I promise you. I sprayed some PB blaster down there to try to get that off. In the meantime, I might try to go ahead and tackle the fan belt at least. I just untighten these fan belts, or this, uh, not the fan belt, the uh, bolts here. Very little pressure, so this is going to come off pretty easily. Okay, so this is the fan. That's where the fan was, and all I did was just twist it this way, and it came off. Very easily. So the fan pulley's off now. I finally got the EGR system out. There it is. There's the two bolts. I had to use a hammer in my sockets. I'm going to try to get this valve cover off. So the next task is to loosen all these valve cover bolts. There's one right there. There's going to be one right there. Those are going to be the hardest ones to get. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to them today. I don't know. It's worth a try. I'm not removing this brake booster. I'm going to try to get in there and just get it some way. But the Zuzu did not make this very easy to get to. Their, their intent was for you to pull the engine to do work on it, not to actually um, do real work on it. That's not what they wanted. They wanted you to pull the engine. Okay, now it's time to unearth this valve cover. You just take a screw bar or a pry bar and you get in there and you twist just a tad bit and it will actually uh, go up for you. And that's that. Let's go ahead and just pull this up. Easy breezy. There it is. A lot of gunk. A lot of gunk, gunk, gunk. That's where all that RTV stuff was. Hopefully there's not a crack there. I'll have to check that out and see what happened there. On this valve cover, I have the, the biggest problem you could have on a valve cover. Someone held it together with some kind of a RTV. I have to get a whole new valve cover. Wonderful. Okay. In the last video, I might have showed y'all how to get that valve cover off on that side. I might have also gotten this pulley and fan off. This belt's now just flopping around. Now, way down under there, this pulley, this guy, you can actually, under. I'll show you here in a second, but there's a, um, a big bolt in there. You can turn the engine over, and it will spin this belt. Because the next thing you got to do Let's go up inside of here. There's a nut right there where my finger is. You might not be able to see it. I'll try to wiggle my finger. Do, 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 do. See that wiggling? There's a nut right there, or a bolt, excuse me. And that has to be loosened or come out. I'm going to try to use this breaker bar and this little extension socket, try to get in there and get them out. So as you can see, I've got it in there, and I'm going to twist back to where it's loose. And it went all the way. I mean, it's, it's grabbing hold of it. And it twisted it. So I'm going to keep doing that and see what happens. Okay, now when you're looking at this, you're probably wondering, how in the world am I going to get that belt off? Even after I've un loosened that belt or that screw, and there's a screw right down here too. Let me see if I can show it to you. That guy. Now you see how it, like, there's like a bracket with like a, a slot in it. That's actually how this whole thing moves. So if you take your, your hand with the belt and you start pulling up, it'll actually move this whole assembly. And uh, then you can get the belt off. So it's fairly straightforward and easy. That belt came off pretty easily. It's it's easier to get it off of this pulley where my finger is down there. That's, the, I guess, the crankshaft down there. Excuse me, crankshaft down there. So the next part is we got to take this thing off. And uh, I'm going to try to use my bolt and or my uh, socket in this breaker bar and see if it fits on those and uh, go at it. Well, I think we got a problem. I'll pull this out and 
something in here fell off. It was part of the timing cover, the plastic timing cover. I'm hoping that by having the, the metal one will fix it, but look, the lower timing cover is messed up too. So, man, I have more parts I gotta buy. Whatever happened here, I guess this snapped one day and it just tore this thing to pieces. Had to have. Uh, it's a real shame. I mean, I've got more work here than I thought I had now. Almost got all the belts off. Just got that one last one down there. And then once uh, I start pulling some pulleys off, I, I guess that, that big pulley down there, that's the one that needs to come off in order to get to these timing belts. Because I have to remove that lower timing cover. And I got to get a new one now. So yippee all right so next thing i gotta do is get this guy off this whole pulley system will probably loosen this guy up so what i've done <clears throat> according to the some people on the zuzu page put the gear lever in fifth handbrake all the way up and uh turn that thing loose and see if it'll come off i don't know if it's clockwise or counterclockwise i'll show you here in a minute 